Hello friends, I am Parwais and this is our 20th video in PyQt5 GUI development. In this video, we are going to learn that how you can create a combo box in PyQt5. So now I have already opened my QT Designer and I am going to create a new uh, template uh, from here. So I am going to choose a widget and after that click on create. So now this is my template. The first thing I need, I am going to add a vertical layout and in a vertical layout we need to add a combo box so if you come down uh, we can find combo box yeah, in here it's a uh, checkbox radio button or let me just combo box yeah this is combo box and then put widgets we have combo box now drag and drop a combo box in here uh, now you can add items to this. Let me just uh, click on edit items. So after that you can add items. Uh, Python, uh, Java, C++, uh, C Sharp, uh, JavaScript. And after that click on OK. So now you can see that this is our uh, combo box. Uh, also I'm going to add a label in here so let me just drag and drop a label and I want to change the label size font size so from here I can choose font and you can change the font of the combo box whatever you want what size you want and uh, now uh, we can just right click right click on the window and we want to choose layout vertically now I want to make it smaller like this and if you you can preview in here so if you preview uh, you can see that this is our uh, combo box and this is our text label now uh, I want to uh, this time I'm not going to convert my this dot UI file uh, in the previous videos, we have learned that how you can convert your uh, uh, UI file into Python file. This time, I want to load this file directly, and uh, I'm I need to save this, uh, so I can just right click on uh, on this, and after that, you need to just uh, choose save, and and here you can uh, give it whatever you want. For example, I'm going to just give it combo. Uh, box.ui and now it's saved so after saving you need to copy the file and paste the file the UI file in your working directory so I'm going to just paste it in here like this now you can see that this is our combo box files it's a XML format Okay, now we need to load our UI file. So now I've already created a load combo.py uh, Python file. So it's just a simple window and in here we want to load our uh, UI file. So this class is extending from QWidget. Now uh, we need to use a UIC module for loading of the UI file. Uh, we need to import this from PyQt5 import UIC. And uh, in here we can just say UIC dot load UI and in here we are going to give the UI file name so it is and in here you need to write the your file name so my file name is combo box dot UI and also I'm going to give it self in here so now we are going to run this and now you can see that we have loaded our UI file now, how you can add some functionalities to this? Uh, there's a, a signal in combo box that's current text changed. Now, I want when I choose, for example, Python, I want to change the label of uh, the text of this label with the Python or Java or C++. Uh, so for this, the first thing we need, we need to uh, create a method or a slot in here. So I'm going to just call it div combo selected. And after this, uh, we need to get. Uh, okay, so before this, we need to find our widgets. Uh, let me just pause this. 
So before doing this, uh, if you see our combo box dot UI, now uh, for our two widgets we have a name. So for the combo box we have name combo box, and also we have uh, this uh, name of label for the queue label. Now we need to find these widgets from the dot uh, UI file, and after that we can uh, add our functionalities. So. And here I'm going to just, uh, so let me just say find uh, widgets in the UI file. Uh, so now let me just import uh, the widgets of Q combo box and also Q label in here. And we can just say self.combo Q combo box. Uh, sorry, uh, self.combo self.find child and it is a type of Q combo box and in here you need to add the name of the combo box so the name of the combo box is a uh, name combo box so this was the first one and after that we need to just find our label so self.find child and this is Q label and the name of the our label is label so this is the name now after finding of the widgets now we have our combo box and also we have label reference to combo box and also reference to label now we can easily interact with this uh, so in the uh, diff combo selected first we need to uh, get the items from this uh, combo box so we can use current text of combo box for getting the current value or current text of the combo box we can just say self.combo dot current text so it is current text and after getting of the current text we are going to set this uh, current text to the label so we can say self dot label dot set text so set text and I'm going to just say you select it uh, plus item and now uh, as I've already said that there is a signal of current text changed with the combo box now we need to connect this combo selected method with the current text change changed signal of the combo box so in here we can say self dot combo dot current sorry uh, current text changed dot connect and we want to add our combo selected and now we are going to run this so if I choose for example Java you can say you can see that you have selected Java you select the Java JavaScript and Python so like this you can work with the combo box using Qt designer alright guys now we're going to create our combo box using coding so this time we're not going to use Qt designer so I've already created a simple code it's just for creating of the window and if I run this you can see that I have a simple window in here and uh, these are my imports and this is my class window that extends from the widget these are my window requirements like like geometry like title and also window icon and this is my queue application argument uh, object and also window object we need to show our window and this is our loop so now uh, First, we need to add some classes. We need a Q V box layout. Uh, we need a Q combo box, also Q label. Uh, and here we need to create the object of Q V box layout. And after that, you need to create your combo box in here. So self dot combo Q combo box. And now we need to add items to the combo box. We can just say self dot combo dot add item. And I want to add Python self dot combo dot add item. Another item I want to choose Java. And I can just uh, copy this. Uh, I want C 
uh, C++, C-sharp, and JavaScript. So after adding this, uh, now we need to add our this combo box to the VBox layout. So we can say VBox dot add widget, and I want to add my combo box. So self dot combo. Now we need to run this, and you can see that we have we don't have any combo box in here because we need to set the layout for the main window. So we can say self.set layout to the view box layout and you can see uh, that we have our combo box in here now also you can add current text uh, signal uh, uh, so the first thing we need I'm going to add a label in here uh, I can just say self dot label Q label uh, let me just add hello in here we can set font for the label, set font and Q font. Uh, also, you can add the size. Uh, let's just set a style sheet for this. So, self dot label dot set style sheet, and I want to give a color of red. Now. I think I haven't imported Q font, so Q font. Uh, we need to add uh, the label to the VBox layout. Self dot label. So now you can see we have our label in here. Now let me just remove this hello. Uh, I'm going to just copy my this uh, diff combo selected method from my previous part and I want to just paste it in my new file and uh, so this is our we have we need to get the value from the uh, combo box and after that we have set the item or the value to the label now in the combo box we can say self dot combo dot current text changed dot connect with self dot combo selected okay now if I uh, select Java you selected Java C sharp C sharp and Python so thank you guys uh, if you have any question please let me know and if you want the source codes you can just check my blog geeks or website geekscoders.com and you can get the source code from there